Whoa. Okay, this is sweet. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You can actually see the bodies that were buried here. Good morning, guys. We are here in Brno, Czech Republic, which is the second largest city in this country. And by all accounts, it's supposed to be kind of as good as Prague and as beautiful with as much history, but there's way less tourists. So we're kind of excited to see why everybody loves this city so much. And we got here a couple days ago. We were rained in for one of them, unfortunately, but today it is gorgeous and we are ready to start exploring. Right now we're walking up the hill to Spielberg Castle, which is a fortress dating back over 700 years. But today it's home to the Brno City Museum. And guys, it is a long winding path to get up there, but I can't wait to see the views. So I think that the museum is like that big building in the middle, but I'm not Sure. I'm sure you have to pay to go into the museum, but it was nice that we were able to just kind of stroll on into the fortress without paying anything. Up here at the top, there is a bar and restaurant. So if you feel worn out after hiking up, you can get a beer or a lemonade or a little bite to eat. Personally, I love all this like medieval architecture style. So this is a great first stop of the day. Are you ready to head back down and go back down to town? Because I'm getting hungry. Yeah, let's go get some lunch. All right, guys, we just sat down to lunch at a traditional Czech restaurant called Stopkova. We have a few recommendations for what the traditional Czech cuisine is here. So there's a few dishes in particular that we want to order and try. Um, we're going to put our order in and hopefully the food comes out soon because we are starving. So the first thing that we ordered is kofola, which is basically communist Czechoslovakia's answer to Coca-Cola. So it's supposed to be kind of similar um, and it's still really popular in Brno from what we've heard. So we wanted to give it a try for ourselves even though we don't normally drink soda. Should I try it? Yeah, give it a shot. I mean, it tastes like Coke, but it almost tastes like it has like ginger in it. Okay, so we ordered a soup called kulaida, which is a traditional Czech soup, and it has potatoes and it looks like mushrooms, but it's known for it coming with an egg and with dill. It looks so good. Boom, the raw egg, to be honest, is a little weird. Yeah. Oh, it was super raw, but the rest of the food's really good. I just don't like the raw egg. Okay, and then the last thing that we ordered is Svetkova, which is like a beef dish, and it's served on some sort of an orange sauce, but it's served with bread dumplings on the side, which looks really good. Oh, that looks good. It looks like there might even be some jelly under that sour cream. Yeah, and this looks like a pumpkin sauce to me. Looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Forget about it. It's delicious. Last up, guys, we gotta try this beef and see how that is. We're getting a little sour cream or whipped cream, whatever this is. And how is the beef? So tender. It's like fall off the bone style of meat. So good. This massive, beautiful church right here is our next stop. And it's called Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. And there's a really funny story about it that I read. 
So basically the bells ring at 11 a.m. instead of 12. And the reasoning behind that is there is some like myth that back in the day when the Swedish army was trying to lay siege on Brno, the Swedish general said, I'm going to abandon my siege if I can't control the city by 12. And so they set the clocks back to 11 so that they would ring a little early and buy them a little time. So I just thought that was kind of a cute story. And I think we should definitely go into this church now and climb one of these badass spires. It is so beautiful in here. Just like the attention to detail, the stained glass, the statues. It's unbelievable and the organ is absolutely massive. That organ is bigger than our old apartment. Absolutely beautiful. But now I want to climb the tower. Base of the tower now. So I want to go up. I bet it's a ton of stairs. I'm guessing they did not have elevators when this church was built. stairs and they're very steep and I'm so full and weighed down by all that check food. <laughs> oh, we're at the top soon. All right, step one to get into this passageway is to duck. It was not made for tall people, whoa. Okay, this is sweet. So now we're like under the roof of what appears to be the main cathedral. You can see all the support buttresses and joists and all that stuff. It just started raining all of a sudden. Oh. It scared the bejesus out of me. Oh my god. Well, it is three o'clock. That yeah. was. Wow, okay. Oh, my heart is going. We were like right beneath the bell. That was oh my crazy. gosh. You guys see this video? I was filming my face as it happened. And now we're on the top floor, like in the attic. Oh my god. So that church was very, very cool. Normally we don't pay money to go inside of a church, but it just looked so incredible that we had to do it. So it was great to climb up the tower and the views were absolutely worth it too. Now we're heading to another spot that we're actually gonna pay a small entrance fee for. I haven't given Jack the details on this place because it looks so cool that I kind of wanted to keep it a secret, but also I was afraid he would talk me out of it because I tend to have like nightmares and get scared of like <laughs> creepy stuff at night and I wake him up in the middle of the night so I thought maybe he would think it's too scary for me but this looks really cool okay so now that we're here and we have kind of entered I feel like I can tell you without Jack forcing me to leave it is called the capuchin crypt and on top of it is a monastery but in the basement is where the really like famous and important people in Brno were buried and I think you're supposed to see some pretty creepy stuff. So they naturally mummified the bodies and so you come in here and you can actually see the bodies that were buried here. Wow. Which is like crazy. I cannot believe I'm standing in front of an actual dead body right now. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. There are over 20 dead bodies behind me. And they've been dead for like 500 years. So they're mummified. And they're just laying there. Like this is their grave. It's scary and terrifying and yet somehow very interesting to see at the same time. 
Next, we're gonna be meeting up with someone who is a local here in Brno, and we're super excited to hear what a local has to say about their city. Okay, guys, so this is Stano, and Hello. he has very kindly agreed to show us around and give us kind of some of the history here in Brno. He's lived here for nine or 10 years yeah. now, but he's originally from Slovakia, so we're gonna get some interesting kind of comparisons on Slovakia versus the Czech Republic. And you guys were the same country up until... Yeah, yeah, up until recently. Yeah. Well, basically, in 1993, we have split up, so we have a lot of Cool. Okay. Let's go see the city. Stano was so friendly while showing us around the city center of Brno. He showed us everything from historic buildings to beautiful views and contemporary art. He even gave us a few history lessons along the way. He's a child with an adult man's head, <laughs> so... It was kind of like that way because it was uh, a bit irresponsible, we could say, you know, he liked to party a lot. Throughout our time together, he was kind enough to teach us a little bit about Czech culture and cuisine. There are two groups of people, those that totally hate it and those who totally love it. I love it and my girlfriend hates it. So, <laughs> so you don't get it often. No, I cannot like put it in the fridge because it's yeah. so smelly. She hates really? it. We were loving the city more and more by the minute. So we really appreciated learning about what life is like for the modern day residents of Brno, including things like how much the average one bedroom apartment costs in Brno. Let's go 12,000. 12,000 Czech crowns is $510 per month. A bargain. That's a bargain. Yes. It was great to hear firsthand from a local what Brno is really like. We had been walking around the city for a while, but there was one more important piece of Czech culture that we hadn't tried yet. Okay, so we can't come to the Czech Republic without trying the Czech no, beer, no. is that right? That would be really <laughs> pity because that's the thing in Czech Republic. So Stano is taking us to one of his favorite places to try local Czech beer from all sorts of places in the country. And what's the place called? Yeah, it's called Nastojaka, which basically means something like standing pub because you cannot sit in there, but it's all compensated by really great beer, so hold on. All right, let's go try the beer. We got a wheat beer and it's Czech. That's about all I know. Here I go. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, that's a wheat beer, all right. That is really good. Ooh. It looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's a really good beer. Oh yeah. That's good. That's amazing. That was, what, 52 for this? Yeah, 52. 52, like maybe two, two bucks. It's yeah. awesome. Two bucks well spent. Oh yeah, cheers. Cheers. Nastravi. Nastravi. That was an amazing tour, and thank you so much to Stano for showing us around. It was super friendly and knowledgeable, you guys. And if you are ever in Brno, he actually does tours for people, so we're gonna link to his tours below so you can check him out. Yeah, it was an overall great day here in Brno. Honestly, in the entire time we've been traveling, I think this falls into my top five and possibly even my top three favorite cities. Yeah. It's just so charming and the uh, like Austrian style architecture is so cool to take in. The history is really, really interesting and I just loved it. I really had a great day. And it is such a great alternative to Prague, you guys, because even the people here talk about how tourism is really a problem in Prague because there's so many people going there. But we're telling you, Brno is incredible and it's way smaller and there's like barely any tourists. So come here, check out the amazing historical city center and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks yeah. for watching, you guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and share this video and we'll catch you guys next time. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 And a little bit back Oh no okay, okay, okay. I don't see no. anything No That's so <laughs> funny well, I don't